Did you know that you can use F strings in Python to include variables in your text? Have a look at the following code where we want to print the name entered and save it in the variable called name. So name equals input, please enter your name, but look at the following line, print, hello, my name is David. The code in the print statement is static and won't change whenever we run the program. Doesn't matter if you input another name there, it's still gonna print out, hello, my name is David, which is not very useful if your name is not David. So we can use string concatenation, which combines two strings with the plus operator to make this work better. So notice how we've changed the print function. It says print, hello, your name is plus name. However, when we run this, we'll see that there's no space between the greeting and your name. We can fix this by adding a space at the end of the hello your name is string. So notice the space after is, so it looks like this. However, that's not very pretty and there's a much more efficient way to work with strings by using an F in front of the opening double quotation marks or single quotation marks if that's what you're using and including the variable name in curly braces. This will print the name entered to screen. So notice we've now got print, open brackets, F, hello, my name is, name in curly braces. To run the program, let's say we use the command Python 3 and the name of our program, which is fstring.py. We prompted to enter our name. Let's say it's John in this example. And notice the output is, hello, my name is John. As you can hopefully see, this method is much more flexible than working with concatenation.